he said, but because there was a rupture. When the one who stuck his hand out should have been able to seize the position, here comes someone that you thought never would have had a chance. And now, even when he started, they were saying, oh, he'll never do it. It'll, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. But there was a rupture in the, in the Republican Party. There's a rupture in the earth in America. America's tired of status quo politics. The rupture was so bad that even the, those who were looking at it couldn't tell that somebody out of the ordinary stood a chance. I like to believe it wasn't just a rupture created only by Donald Trump. I don't know if I'll get too deep for some of you tonight. I believe the rupture came even with Obama. That when he broke forth, Nobody saw it coming. The gap was open. The out of the ordinary, strange stuff that's just strange is going to happen. We're on the break. We're on the break of two strange things that nobody could have seen years ago. Never would have seen where a woman would even have a chance to be the president of the United States of America with all the qualified men that was powerfully known in the earth. Never thought a woman whose husband was an adulterer would be standing at a place where she would be just some months away from the possibility of being the most powerful woman in the earth in politics. <coughs> the rupture happened. Not only did it bring forth, but it's bringing forth a man who speaks uncommon stuff. And people only have a desire to hear him because the tear has been so severe in America that America is willing to accept anybody that speak that language. If we're witnessing this in the natural and we can see it with our very eyes, touch somebody and say, look out for the spiritual. We're dealing with the temper of the times. The times have proven to us that there is a shaking taking place. And regardless of which side you are on, strange stuff is going on. Regardless of whether you're on the side of this, the right or the left, Everything is beyond our mental comprehension. Whatever is taking place, it is more spiritual than it is natural. People talk about the word shift. We've already shifted. We're going in a direction and we're moving real fast. And it behooves all of us to your neighbor, wake up up in here, wake up in here. It behooves all of us to get our ears open. If your ears been closed, you want to get them open now. Because you need to hear what the Lord is saying to us. In Revelations, the word says it like this. It said, he that has an ear. Let him hear 
that I'm here, that I'm here, that I'm here. You need to ask God, Lord, am I missing something? Am I missing something? Lord, am I not hearing something? That something that I'm not sensitive about God is making me unaware of the shifting that's taking place because God, I'm down with something is going Undoubtedly, God, there is a movement that is taking place. Brothers and sisters, when one sticks his hand out, and the moment he draws back, another breaks forth. Grab your neighbor by the hand, tell him, seize the moment. Anytime things are happening in the spiritual realm, you need to tap into what God is doing and what God is saying. If there's a cut for God, for us to see a cut in the earth, then God must be cutting something for his people. God is saying to us as a people, just as I I'm allowing you to see in the natural. You better know something is cut for you in the spirit. The Bible said he sticks out his hand and he draws back. And as soon as he draws back, the other breaks forward. I saw that in my spirit tonight. As I was coming here, I could imagine the sticking out and the drawing back. And I can imagine the other breaking forth. What makes you draw back? The Lord said, if you draw back, he said, I have no place with you. What makes us draw back? And God says, you start drawing back, you're drawing back because you got somebody in your ear. You got people talking you out of who you are. Right. Telling you that you don't have to live this way anymore. You ain't got to walk like this. You ain't got to be consecrated like that. What makes us draw back? Lord. Bible said, if any man draw back, put his hand to the plow and look at it back, said, I have no part in me. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Say, don't draw back. Don't draw back. Pull the hand. Pull it. Pull it. Say, break forth. Don't draw back. Draw back. It ain't time to draw back. 